57 cents from Daniel Vibron. <laughs> oh, uh, how are the secret levels doing? Oh, this. I think they all got in. They all got in? Okay. $5 from Conrad Persley. <sighs> okay. And $1 from Magnus von Goyce Karlstrom. I have a question for LL Cool Dave. Who would win in a fight, Duke Nukem or Chimney Imp? Is he still here? Where'd he go? No. Chimney. Uh, that was Chimney M. It's a magic He cash. just left the room, <laughs> no. unfortunately. We'll ask him when he comes back. Oh, wow. This what? looks really she weird. Uh, it's oh, right. It's at a weird <laughs> ratio. Does it uh, still look okay? Okay. Uh, uh, no. Let's say the commercial really uh, will start playing. Uh, uh, well, can we change the resolution? Oh, I see. I see. Uh, okay. Do you want to update the game? Uh, I believe what's in there until it's like... Okay. Oh, well, not that. No, not in there. Leave that alone. Change the quakes. Like, can you make... Can you... What is... Was it in window mode? No. Oh, it is in window mode. Sorry. Um, Where? Sorry. Why is it in window mode? Okay, go change it. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Come on. Start up quick. Uh, okay, can you, can you, wow, did it completely screw up, or no, there, what is it doing? It, it didn't. Oh. Something did. Yeah. Okay, so you're okay now? Oh, wow. It's really oh. zooming. <laughs> what is the, uh, the uh, Google document? Yeah, it's like, I really don't know. You good? Uh, I'm just going to get a minute to see the PM. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, just let me count down whenever you're ready to start. And make sure, I have the most important button, bound, the restart button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, um, count me down. Just give me, oh, uh, All right. three, two, one, go. That's a really terrible first one. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I'm hopping everywhere because that's the fastest way to move in Kuwait. Oh my god, there's a dog in the way. Uh, wow, this is. The, the widescreeniness is making it really weird on my eyes. There's like a million ways to make yourself go faster on this game, but I'm just. Hence why it's such a big speed. Ah! <laughs> This is the game that 31. started the SDA community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in, I don't know, 96 when this game came out, a lot of people immediately uh, discovered that it was fun to try and finish levels as fast as possible. And um, quite a few websites sprung up to do this, including one by one Nolan Fu, people might remember. Just um, some guy. <laughs> yeah, just some guy. And um, his, originally, uh, I can't remember, but I think it was something like his site only had runs of the entire game, and uh, some other guys called Mwadib, um, except in Nightmare runs of individual levels. And uh, they merged, and they formed to be demos like that. Which is, well, why we're we here now? <laughs> okay, this level has the first actual, like, trick in it. Um, And I got nice. it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the key is right underneath the door. Oh, wow. That was close, but we made it. Yeah, that's another trick as well, but it's, that grenade jump there solves about three seconds. It's not that much, but most of it. The first one saves like 20 at least. What's the little bar on the bottom? Is that your speed? Yes, this is a speedometer. It's not a feature in the original Quake. This is uh, Joe Quake, which is a port written by one of the speedrunners, uh, Joe Salontai, um, which is a very helpful feature because it lets you know whether I am bunny hopping properly or not. <laughs> got, a, got a timer on the upper right, too. Yes. Oh my god, I missed the key. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to restart that. <laughs> I jumped onto the right platform. I didn't pick up the key. Okay. Yeah. There you go. If you do that fast, you can keep the speed and bunny hop into the water. You gotta but... try and that jump. <laughs> yeah, that jump's pretty hard. But... Oh, that one, yeah, I yeah. can't do that. <laughs> okay. Well, that one, I heard that one was ridiculous. Like, precise. Yeah, you have to use slope jump and hit the grenade at the same time. It's kind of like the one I did in the third level. Except you're going out of water, so it's even more annoying. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Wow, yeah. Wow, the sensitivity is still a little bit too high. Yeah. 
shot in the back. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the first shambler. This guy. Yeah, talk about him. because well, the first shambler on easy mode. Oh, oh, right, yes, oh, no, three health. That means I have to pick that up. Yeah, if you donate during this one, you have a chance to win this quick shambler plushie <laughs> that I need. Is it five or ten? Uh, I'm oh not sure. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I died! <laughs> Burst into flames. Okay. Yes. Love it, does that. I promise he won't shoot lightning at you. He's a lot friendlier. Yeah, yeah, ten dollars during this Ten dollars or more. I need to pick up extra health shambler. now because I got hit by that down over. Okay. I mean, the worst he could do is maybe he'll give you a static shock, but I, I promise no lightning. Did we'll I never know? find okay. a more lovable shambler. <laughs> <laughs> he might still Bye. That's easy. the first he boss of the game. Heads. It's also, so it's also the only real boss. Okay. <laughs> that was episode one. <laughs> right, has down in from Chandler. So on, <laughs> on easy mode, you only have to hit him once with the lightning, but I think on any other mode, you have to hit him three times. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, and it actually gets quite hard because his fireballs home really well. Yeah. I, this is the one trick level? Yeah. Uh, you can actually do a level in uh, seven, believe it or not. It's really hard to get 7. I've never got it. I've got like 8.6 before with my best one. Get away from you. What would you say is the most annoying enemy in the game? Uh, wow. We actually have discussions about that quite often in the Quick Channel. Because <laughs> it depends on two things. One, which level you're currently running. <laughs> two, which difficulty you're playing on. So on easy mode, the whole game. <laughs> Well, on the easy, the most annoying enemies are fiends, because they're huge, they do a ton of damage if they hit you, and they have random AI on easy, so it can be incredibly difficult <laughs> to work out what they're actually going to do. Um, on Nightmare, the most annoying enemies are grunts, the first guys with the guns, because they fire so fast and they never miss, it's really annoying. So, I was originally planning to say, oh, I'll um, take donations for Nightmare Skill. And then <laughs> I started practicing Nightmare Skill. And, um, yeah, that's a nice trick there. It only saves like two seconds, but this one is important though. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm missing all these shit. I have to pick up the grenades. And this is going to be the way now. Yeah, that, that's a lot slower than it could be because if you do it fast enough, that ogre isn't in the way. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> uh, you were going to take donations to go to Nightmare. Yes, uh, then I started practicing it and I thought, wow, I can't get past the first level. <laughs> and um, then I managed to get past the first level and I died on the second level. And I died on the second <laughs> level again, I died on the second level again. Because the first few levels of every episode are full of grunts, which makes it really hard to survive pretty much any room. Um, I, I picked up an invulnerability, by the way. This makes this session a bit easier. There's basically two routes to do this level, and I'm doing it backwards. I was practicing the other route where you go in the front door, but this one's safer. And it's about the same speed, so. <laughs> I still have a pentagram, so I can do this. There he is, so cute. Give yeah, him a so hug. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so on Nightmare, I thought, okay. I can do this, but it'll take a lot of practice. I decided that a suitable donation goal would be about maybe $10,000. <laughs> because it is that much harder. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> if you really wanted Nightmare Run, I suppose I could have asked, but ow, oh, six, six health, that's enough. As long as I'm not on like, what? Six is enough. What's up, John? That saves about well, six seconds. Oh, wow, I'm on really low health. I'm going to go get the extra over here. I'm on low health, I'm just gonna shoot myself with a rocket. Exactly. <laughs> okay, now this trick bears a little explanation. This cage is meant to go down and drown you for about 20 seconds, but I block it with my own body, which causes a lot of uh, squishing damage. Thankfully, if you have enough armor, then you can survive it. You have to do that in order to get out of a level, because it's got a trigger on it, which. Oh my god, get out of the Opens up a door here, which you may be able to get through otherwise. Oh my god, he jumped into me. I have really little health. Well, doesn't it go back up to 50? Yeah, 50. Yeah. You always have a minimum of 50 at start very level. And a minimum of 25 shells. I missed that. A minimum of 25 shells as well. In case you use that many shells. Oh, this is a really boring level? Yes, on this level I get to stand around for a minute. So I'm going to try and show off some really weird bugs. Um, because a lot of weird things happen on this level. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't mean that to me. So, in case anybody wondering, that's a fiend. Yeah, these. Wow, he me twice. Okay. Oh my god, this fiend. <laughs> oh, I didn't manage to do a trick. Oh, that zombie might still be invincible. 
Yeah, see the fine sliding, fiend sliding into the corner? One more fun feature. Yeah, I did it. Watch, I can't, I can't hit him. Things just travel straight through him. He is the invincible zombie! <laughs> I'm on 7 health. <laughs> I should be a serious level on 7 health, right? The one fiend is just really... <sighs> There's one enemy left I have to kill, and it does more than 7 damage, so... Where's the box of nails? It's already gone. Oh, we missed that. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's a oh, I took one damage. How? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it happens sometimes. The game is good. Like, well, you're, you're too high health. Sorry, six health above. Yeah. When you're standing on that lift, sometimes you just take one damage. Doesn't always happen. The box of nails sometimes falls through it, too. Yeah, it already did. That's okay. the thing. I, I like watching it disappear. It really I'm on really low health, so I'm just going to have to wait for this. I could possibly do one uh, rocket jump, but I'm not going to risk it, because then I have to wait for that damn lift again. <laughs> okay, episode two. It is over. As you can see, there's like very little downtime in this run, so I, oof, so I really don't get time to be like, be bigger or anything. Making <laughs> a couple comments about the back of the ad, yeah, and we've got comments a lot of it. We've got a few back there. We could do one. something about that. <laughs> okay, hardest trick in the run. <laughs> oh man, this is so hard with this resolution. There you go. Oh no, I missed it. What am I wearing? You're wearing Shadow uh, okay now. <laughs> that sounds good. Oh my god. We left your Commander Keen home. Yes, there we go. Yes. That's the hardest trick in the entire run. <laughs> it is a double, uh, a double slow jump. Uh, and I was originally not even going to do that trick for this run because it's so freaking hard. But I went, ah, oh, I think I'll just try it once I got first time in my practice. So I decided I'd learn it properly. And even though I tried like five or six times, I still gained time over not doing it. Yeah. Oh, I like this level. Oh, ah. There's a trick here where there's a small trigger here, which if you hit it like oh. that, the silver key flies down there. And you have to go through the actual level to get it. And I don't want to do that. Oh, wow. There we go. Yes. So that saves like a minute. It's worth retrying because it just saves so much time. Also, there's lots of enemies in that group where you would normally go to get stuck on. There's actually quite a few hit. Are they, they all zombies? Away. I hear a lot of zombies in this level. There are a lot of zombies in this level, but no. I they're... hate zombies. <laughs> okay. Um, what I'm, level am I on? E3 and 3. Okay. This level is another one where you can just skip everything. Just <laughs> Even nicer gives you a mega health, so I don't have to get too low health after that. I think. Mean, I think. Mean. Uh, this level can get really congested with enemies. Um, this level, this part is completely luck based. You can just stand here for 10 seconds, wait for enemies to get out of the way, or it can go nice and smoothly. Oh wow! <laughs> you just jinxed yourself. <laughs> I did. Oh wow! Get out of the way, dude. Okay. So yeah, that level can be done in like 25. I got stuck on a lot of things. Oh, this one has my least favorite trick because you have to jump out of water, and water physics are really strange in this game. So if you if you actually um, jump underwater, I got it. Nice. Time. Yeah, if you jump underwater, you lose speed. Uh, but if you move up underwater, then you gain a ton. This is basically the only way to jump out of water. Oh, that's good. oh okay. Sorry, I got like five seconds to risk here. Okay, go. <laughs> It's like those bits that start on modern SVS, where it's like you sat on the track and it's like, go, go, go! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, Sorry, Shambler! No Shamblers were handed in protection of all way. Uh, there's a fun bug in that tunnel. If you are too close to the front of it, too close to the front of it, you just get stuck on it permanently and you can't move. And you can't get out of it at all. You can't even shoot yourself at the rocket get out. No. The, the tunnel overwrites your own velocity, so you can't possibly do anything. Oh, okay. If you get hit by those, I have to pick up extra health. This is a really weird trick, which I uh, did. I hear that? Yeah, I did. Okay, you're gonna go through three pipes in this level, kind of like the first one, like, well, the second one I went into. It's like a long level with keys and stuff in it, and I skip all that because I hit a trigger underneath that other pipe, which causes the last section to unlock. Hmm. This game is so bad. <laughs> There's just so many tricks to do in such a short period of time. <laughs> we excellent. Okay, I really hate this level. Because it's all running off in a decent time, and I'm not the worst person. I'm not even the worst hundredth person. Oh. But at least you can't die on it. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding? Yes. Okay, um. I hope. I'm you. even gonna take some extra damage in a second just so I can possibly die. 
There's some health up here, so I'm gonna use it. Oh, 